What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP comes out with another how to. If this is your first time tuning into the channel. Consider subscribing. This is what we do radio removals, car audio to tools, QAs, all that good stuff. Today, we have a 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe, and uh, I'm going to show you how to take this radio out. We're going to be installing a double den. So, this thing already has like a little crack in it, so we want to be careful. And uh, what we want to do is take our flat profile. And come over here because we gotta take these vents out first. So come right here at the bottom. Try to pop it out as much as we can. See if I can't just use my hands from now from here on. See if I can't come in a little bit more. Gotta be careful on that uh dash part. There we go. So we got that part out. Now I'm not gonna do it from here because it already has the crack. So we're gonna try from the top. Let's see if we can't kind of release some of that pressure. There we go. And we didn't crack anything. Cool. That's the type of install I want. All right, so now we have two Phillips on the left and we have two Phillips on the right. So guess what we gotta do? Take those out. Now that we have those out, all this stuff just kind of slides, slides. And we're gonna go ahead and start taking out some harnesses. This is the boring part, but we just press down on a little tab. Check it out. All right, y'all, so we got that radio out. Let's go ahead and uh, get that dash kit prepped and uh, get this thing wired up and get in here. All right, so this right here is our dash kit, and uh, it's pretty simple. I will have all these links in the description, and please be on the lookout for a new Amazon store coming from your boy in just a few minutes while we get everything else together. I will still have the link so you guys can go get your product so you can do this yourself. So this thing comes with two tabs, and it comes with some little screws. You basically just flip it over like that. I've already done this one. Uh, you just want to screw it into those holes. So we want to get this lined up for our double den. Come right here. Now I only got one hand, so I'm going to have to do something magic. There we go. Then we want to take that thing and just put it over the dash like that. So it looks all nice and uh, flush. And we will see a better picture of that in a minute. But, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take the deck screws that actually came with the radio this time. And then we're going to screw those into the side. All right, y'all, so we got the CD player looking real nice. Got everything mounted up on the sides. Screws on the right, screws on the left. Let's go back in the car. All right, y'all, so we got the radio in. Uh, we got everything wired up. Now, if you're new to the channel, I know what you're probably thinking. I did not actually go over the wiring. Well, the reason I do that is because I have over 150 different radio removal tutorials for you guys at time. But what I did is I actually made one video to show you how to wire up a CD player. It goes over the different wire colors, what they mean, how to wire it up, make your connections, all that good stuff that will be in the description and in the card in the corner. That way, the people who know how to do that you get what you need with the radio removal and the people who don't know you have somewhere to go to so let's get this thing back in put those screws in and let's see what it looks like when it's all done all right so everything's working pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and go to the radio just to make sure that everything works this is what it looks like when it's all said and done well we got the vents back in there everything looks like we never took it out uh we didn't do that. Uh, but if you guys found any value in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Until next time, this is what JP signing out. Peace.